Chopra, the Global Head for Business Development at the company, now joining us live right here on this edition of uh, Markets at Noon. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you so much uh, for making the time and being with us here on ET Now. Should we begin with the earnings uh, fine print? Should we begin with the order pipeline? I think I'll begin with the order pipeline because that's what had the markets excited, uh, especially last week where we saw a big jump up in the stock price. Uh, talk to us about that and what the future order pipeline is looking like. Yeah, good afternoon and thanks for having me on your show. Uh, I think you mentioned about, you know, uh, uh, small dip in growth as far as Q4 year on year is the concern. But if you look at, you know, FY22 as a whole, I think uh, we have exhibited 6% growth in spite of all challenges. And at the same time, our that has grown by over 20%. So this is something which we term as, you know, a profitable growth where our margins grow much better than the top line. Now, coming back to your uh, question of order wins, I think uh, as far as orders are concerned, uh, we have a strong order pipeline. You would have seen in recent times, we uh, in this fiscal year, we got one order of 18 million euros from uh, Russia, which is uh, an EP, Engineering and Procurement Order. Now, there has been a lot of query from the stakeholders that you're picking up orders from Russia. I think one of the reasons why we have done it is that we have secured our payments. The major contractor is from Korea. Uh, so we have taken the order from him and all our payments are through first class bank, through LC from Korea. The other order is a Senegal order, which is a desalination order, again, high technology order. And uh, it opens a new geography for us, which is uh, Western part of Africa, especially the Francophonic countries. He, if I look at it, it's a JICA funded project. We have very strong partners in, uh, with us, a Japanese conglomerate Toyota and a French construction partner, IFAC. So I think these are strategic uh, partners and we look forward to more growth in especially the western part of Africa, where in the past we have not been very successful. And if I look at future pi order pipeline, I think uh, we have seen that in Middle East, now a lot of traction is happening because of strong oil prices. The governments have again, you know, increased their focus on the infrastructure spend. There are a lot of new desalination, recycle, reuse uh, contracts which are likely to come up. And uh, that will be one growth area. Apart from that, we find that in India, there is a huge spend. I think uh, we have already Jalji Jivan Mission, which is uh, there for providing water on tap to every household. Uh, so wherever the technology component is high, I think uh, VATEC will be one of the strong contenders there. Where there's a challenge in treating the water and resource augmentation. The second is on Amrut, as far as utilities are concerned. So that has again a huge outlay for five years of around 2.7 lakh crores. So this is, there are 500 Amrut cities. Even in the past, we have been successful in that. And going forward, we see that uh, this will be another area where you know uh, we we'll contribute to our order book. The third thing which you would have recently witnessed is that we have signed a contract with the Ghaziabad Nagar Nigam for a 40 million liters per day uh, TTRO. It's a tertiary treatment where treated uh, water from a wastewater treatment plant will yes. be treated to portable standards, and it's a hybrid annuity model. Okay. So hybrid annuity model in uh, water sector was only limited to Namami Gange, now it's expanding. So that's going to other, be another focus area for us. Okay. 
Uh, Mr. Rajneesh, a very good afternoon. This is Shrishti joining in. Thank you for highlighting uh, where the company is looking for more growth opportunities. But um, you did touch upon the earnings. I, will, uh, I would like to ask you specifically on the margins, which have shown strong outperformance over the past uh, two quarters. If we see, they are seen to be sustaining above that 10% mark. But going forward, uh, the kind of positive momentum uh, that you are seeing uh, in your order book and you've also guided uh, your revenue guidance is 10% uh, for FY23. Uh, can we expect the margins uh, to be uh, on the upper side from these levels or you do expect the margins cooling off uh, because of the inflationary concerns? Uh, I think uh, you have a valid question and that's been a concern from a lot of our investors also. But if you see in recent time, our order books, especially from international markets, uh, we are not doing any EPC contracts. We, so we are not taking on the construction component in our contracts. These are all in design, engineering, procurement, and in some cases, operations and maintenance, where there are design build operate jobs. So when we take these EP jobs, that's the core strength for WABAR design engineering process optimization. So this is something we have focused on. The key things in these contracts is one, the turnaround time is less, so we can convert it into revenue in a faster, a lesser time. The second is our margins are better. And the third thing, uh, you know, we do not carry the construction risk here. So we are quite hopeful that going forward, we will exhibit profitable growth. What I intend to say by profitable growth is that our uh, bottom line, the margins will grow better than the top line. So the change in the international and domestic order book, in the engineering procurement orders, this is something which is resulting into better margins for us. At the same time, we resorted to a lot of cost control measures and uh, we are continuing with that. Okay, but just uh, taking this entire conversation forward as well, you've talked to us about uh, the results month on month, year on year. You've given us some idea as well as far as uh, the order pipeline goes. Uh, there is, of course, a Chennai desalinization tender. We all know what's also happening, you know, at the banks of Ganga. Can you talk to us a little more because your shareholders, the analyst community will want some more visibility on this? So I think as far as I'll start with Ganga, because it's one of the most pious and holy rivers we have. I think Babag has a pretty good uh, tra success track road as far as Namami Ganga projects are concerned. We, are, we have completed one project in Haridwar, we are doing projects in Delhi, we are doing projects in Kanpur, Varanasi, uh, Bihar, Kolkata, so all across. You know, Ganga Belt, we have been successful, and it also has two hybrid energy model projects also. So, if the water cash we are generating, I think you would have seen that we are deploying it in our ham projects, which is going to give us a very good revenue going forward, a predictability of an annuity for 15 years, and that's something we are focusing. Now, after the success of Namami Gange. I think the government has also shifted their focus. They have identified 13 more rivers for rejuvenation on similar models. So we will be pretty strong contender in all the projects which will be coming on these particular rivers. As far as Chennai desalination is concerned, I think uh, there are four, uh, it's a global tender, there are four uh, qualified bidders. We are one amongst them, and I think uh, we are likely to submit that bit very soon. Now, once, you know, technically only four people are qualified, now it all depends upon the price, how it moves. But as far as desalination as the market is concerned, I think India is seeing a lot of traction. So there are a lot of other contracts which are happening in industrial segment for captive use. Some other states also on the coastal belt are uh, contemplating to, you know, put up other desalination capacity. So I think uh, these are a few markets, the th three few segments. Apart from this, we see recycle and reuse. What we recently did in uh, Ghaziabad, Nagar Nigam, 
there are five states which have a firm policy of recycle and reuse of treated water. Uh, and the target is to treat 70% of the treated waste water uh, over the next five years. So that is another segment where being a technology player, we find that Babar will be a very, very strong content. Okay, so a lot that's clearly happening at the company. It's the order pipeline and what it's looking like. And certainly at the stock market enthused last week, uh, four of the five trading sessions, uh, the stock was a winner. Thank you so much for joining us live today on this edition of